So you likely heard the piercing sound of the Amber Alert urging us all to be on the lookout for little Taylor Williams. And that alert may have created a sinking feeling in your stomach, knowing a child may be in serious danger. Yeah, as a mom, my stomach drops mm. every time I hear that go off. Well, as morning anchor Keith Nelson reports tonight, there's a local family reliving that sinking feeling that they experienced more than two decades ago. Their story ended happily in the end, and they're praying for the same for the Williams family. She's so cute, how she waving and everything. Craig Aiken, like all of us, melts when looking at little Taylor Williams waving at the camera. We reflect on the possibilities. He relives the pain of his newborn Kamaya Mobley being kidnapped from a Jacksonville hospital back in 1998 at just eight hours old. You, you never get over it. Like when another child get kidnapped, it, it always touch you because it reminds you what you've been through. It brings back old feelings. And it hurts no matter what child it is, whether it's yours or whether it's somebody else's child. Aiken's mother, Velma, joined the large search party Wednesday combing through the Brentwood area where little Taylor, just five years old, was last seen. I went out there and walked as much as I can walk and I drove around to see, can I find something? Both say they haven't ceased praying for Taylor and her loved ones, knowing well the many emotions that overwhelm families when children go missing. You feel hurt, you feel confused, you got a lot of questions, you wondering why, what you did wrong, you punish yourself, you know. Sometimes things happen for a reason, you know, you can't punish yourself for what happened. What happened to them? 18 years after being kidnapped, Kamaya was found healthy and well. She had been living in South Carolina with a woman who stole and raised her as her own, Gloria Williams. I was so glad when they found her, and that's why I'm hoping that they can find this baby alive and well. And that was Keitha Nelson reporting tonight. So I want you to take one more close look at your screen. This is five-year-old Taylor Rose Williams. She is three feet tall. She weighs about 50 pounds, and she was last seen wearing pink and purple pajamas. If you see her, if you know where she is, please call 911 immediately. And again, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office asking tonight for anyone who saw Taylor and her mother, Brianna Williams, together within the past six months in Jacksonville to give them a call. We will continue to stay on, the top, on top of this search for this little girl. And of course, we always have the latest on air and on our website, firstcoastnews.com.